What are we gonna eat for lunch? That's a question that I have. Um, I have ramen. You have ramen? What did you have on your ramen? Um, well, it's just a cup of noodles. Oh, it's oh. in my purse. I oh, it's that kind of ramen. It's yeah. microwavable ramen. Yeah, it's just. I like it. I like it. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday. It's very exciting. And we finally received the rest of, so on Monday we received five of the colors. We finally received the other three yesterday of the brand new Sweet Treats collection. And we are so excited to come on here and swatch these for you. This is the brand new collection from Magpie and they are all bright pastels. So we love, love, love them. And can't wait to show you actually. Yeah. They're really, They're really so good. adorable. Um, I've been playing around with ombres, which we are going to show you some ombres at the end after we swatch these for you. And I can say that they just are so easy to apply, easy and creamy to ombre. These were very, very quick to do. This one is probably my favorite just because of the color combo. I for some reason I'm loving like this one and this one so Yes, so cute. Like very like sherbet Very, very sherbet -y. yep. Mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm. And so, they just blend so well together. They, they really so do. Cute. They really, really do. Okay, so we will show you how to ombre. Um, Rachel's going to do an ombre, and I'm going to do an ombre, so yeah. you can see how that works. And then um, let's just hop right into it. We'll clear the decks and start showing you all the new colors. All right. First up is Jelly Baby. And Jelly Baby is the brightest pink. It is like a pastel ice lolly yeah and it is just cute and springy and, and it's just so freaking pretty i love this color actually this is almost the color of your sweater it is almost the color of my sweater between this and fizzy peaches that's my sweater today yeah and i'm going to apply this just a little bit thicker so that i can do a one coat coverage we don't suggest one coat coverage, but I'm just trying to show you the power of the pigment, um, mm -hmm. that it can be one coat coverage. Normally we would do two thin coats and just like your normal application method, but with one coat coverage, you can see it is fully opaque and lovely, even with a pastel. So that's what I'm trying to show you with this style of application. Mm -hmm. Like there's no streaking, there's no nope. shadowing. It's just, just a, nice and even. Yes, and it's lovely. Mm -hmm. All right, next up we've got Fizzy Peaches. Fizzy we've got peaches. just the most beautiful, like, pastel, it's so sherbety, pretty. peachy orange. It's just so pretty. I, I love this color. I actually love this entire collection. You're going to hear us really say that with every single color, but we mean it sincerely. There's just something about it's a good so pastel cute. collection. Like, oh. So this is like a pastel Coco Cabana. It's going to have that really just cute orange feel. And Rachel's showing you a traditional application. Are you going to make it thicker? Uh -huh. Oh, well, that first application that where like it was thinner, um, you can do it in two thin coats or you could do it in one heavier coat. Because Magpie gel polishes are 100% gel, then we don't have to worry about wrinkling or breakdown of product. Everything will cure properly inside of the Magpie lamp. Mm -hmm. I got some bubbles in there. I started around a little too much before I got it out. That is so cute. Look at that color. Look at that. It's so pretty. Dang it, that's adorable. And it really is like just like the perfect like peachy orange. Like it's just it's just so pretty. Love it. Hey, that means I get to do sherbet pip. Oh. Oh, it's so I cute. How about you want to do sherbet pip it's and I'll okay. do apple sour? That's okay. No. Which one? Which one do you, you want to do? do this one? Okay. <laughs> Well, then you get to do apple sour, which is equally as adorable. So this is sherbet pip, and let me get a nail file for this. Um, yes, Ashley, you are going to need these. It's it's a definite yes. From there are only um, 12 full collections left uh, until we get our next shipment. So if you do want these, I would suggest getting them sooner than later. They are available individually as well. I don't remember how many individuals were available, but there are only 12 collections remaining. Mm -hmm. Sherbet Pip is so cute. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. It's it does Absolutely have stunning. that slight green undertone, mm -hmm. just like Pina Colada had a slight green undertone. So it, it just pairs um, perfectly with Pina Colada. Mm -hmm. And it blends perfectly. Uh, I don't know where I put those sticks. Oh, yeah, yeah. With Fizzy Peaches. So cute. I love that. Okay, here we go. Yeah. 
No, oh, this one, so I think maybe, will I show you? Hmm. If we did this in two thin coats, let's see what happens. So here's one thin coat and you can see that it is almost full coverage. Yeah, that's pretty freaking good for one coat. And a pastel for a, yellow. For a pastel yellow, absolutely. Um, for the sake of time, I am going to put on just a little bit more and make this a one coat coverage. Now, if you have gels that are not 100% gel, you would not be able to float this extra color on here. So just please follow your manufacturer's instructions. But with Ma with Magpie, we are all 100% gel. So yes, absolutely, you can apply your gels just a little bit thicker and not have any trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one is so cute. Next one. Oh, she's she is adorable. Gem. This is apple sour. Oh. <gasps> I mean, can you get any cuter? So Maybe that one's my favorite. Is it? It might be. Every time you open <laughs> it, it's that. like instant joy. <laughs> it's like, it's oh. like you forget how good it is until you open it up you again. Oh, you just adorable. It's just such a good creamy, minty, minty green. This is just like our, um, if I could get the lint off the swatch <laughs> stick. This is like the, <coughs> what's the green one? Um, aloe vera. Brain fart, yeah. This is a this pastel is... aloe vera. Yeah. Too cute. Yeah, and you can see they paint on so nice. They really do. And they're so, like, buttery. These are very, like, buttery pastels. Mmm. Come on. Yeah. So She's cute. so cute. I love, love, love it. I love that. All right. Next up, we have Iced Gem. An Iced Gem is a pastel version of ooh, ooh, seashell. Mm -hmm. Iced Gem. How cute is she? I love that. Uh, this is like summertime blue, in my opinion. I know that summertime blues are often like those brighter blues, but maybe I guess you could call it springtime blue. But yeah. to me, summertime blue is like that sky blue. Yeah. And this is just how cute. Oh, so cute. Um, hi, Nails by Yawners. She says she hi. Loves these lives. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Oh, that really is such a good color. So this one, I didn't really apply very thick, and you can see... I would, still is this really is good like coverage. a really nice thin coverage and it has or a thin application and it just has beautiful beautiful coverage mm -hmm. with pastels that is hard to get so well done to magpie yeah that's beautiful all right next up bonbon bon. oh because i dropped them it's okay just <laughs> forgive me that was my fault <laughs> we got good old bonbon bon up next um, which is just like the most beautiful, like pastel periwinkle. Just like I that. love periwinkle. Right in between a blue and a purple, not quite either, but it's just the perfect combo of both. I'll and show you just, compared to this guy. Yes. You can see the purple undertone. Yeah. Yep. It's just beautiful. Love it. See, these are the kind of ones that I gravitate towards. I don't yes. gravitate towards like those sky blues. I like a little bit of like a purple, kind yep. of like denim y. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This could be denim y, huh? It's like a pastel denim green. Mm-hmm. Gosh, that's cute. Mm-hmm. Man, that's adorable. That is so... I would wear that. Are you kidding me? Look how good that looks on my skin. It does. <gasps> I'm gonna... I wanna wear that. Guess what? Your next color is gonna be really good. It's really, be really good. <laughs> really good. Okay, next up we have Dolly Mix. And Dolly Mix is going to appear slightly purple, but it, it would be a purple-pink mix. So it definitely can lean in your manicures toward the purples or toward the pinks. Are you gonna show them against strawberry lace real yeah, quick? Yeah, cause here's strawberry lace. So that's, that's definitely one. pink. This one is like has, a- But it is more purple than- Yeah. Than Jelly Baby. So they're kind of all in that like, could be pink, could way. be purple. Oh, sorry. Could be pink, could be purple, but like a little bit of all, both. Yep. Yeah. On its own, I see a lot of pink in this. Then when we pair it, then I'm like, oh, maybe it is lavender. Mm -hmm. So it just- I it, think I can, it is a little bit more, but not quite like, um, pearls a singer like yeah. lavender like that. Yeah. Which is nice because you can lean it toward whichever color you're needing it to fit into. Um, it also gives you more options when you pair them with glitters. That's very true. 
when you um, have colors like this. Allie will show it next to the blue once they're once they're all cured. That's adorable. That really is such a good color. Dolly Mix, that. you cutie patootie. Mm-hmm. And then this is, like I said before, this is strawberry lace. This is just a gorgeous um, pink with just like very slight purple undertones to it. But just very gorgeous. I'm gonna grab a couple glitters. Okay. So that we can see these guys. Kayla, who are you apologizing to? She's apologizing to the coats. <laughs> Basically. Sweet little Okay, so I have pulled the Mother's Day collection. Oh, sorry. Uh, not done yet. We're not done yet. <laughs> we're not ready. <laughs> and this was the same as the other ones where we're just doing like a thicker one coat coverage kind of thing. And that is just so beautiful, all in one coat. Love it. Hey, will you put this in? I think I'm missing one. Where are you it's going? I was just grabbing the last one that I missed. <laughs> all right, so I wanted to show everybody how well these pair with the Mother's Day collection, the Mother's Day glitter, and then we were gonna show compared to the brand new, cute, adorable foils. Uh, the pastel yeah. foils. All right, here we have this guy which the light turned off and so he had a little issue with curing but that's fine we have this guy and then the strawberry lace is curing okay so this is the mother's day glitter collection and this one is jelly baby and you could pair her here or here mm -hmm. then this cute fizzy peaches would be so cute with marjorie or even with um, or even with pamela Emma. i'll turn these over so everybody can see their names So this is Pamela, and how cute are these gonna pair with these colors? Denise, of course, would, is gonna go great with the Sherbet Pip, mm -hmm. but if you wanted to do it with Irene, that would be so cute. You could, you could also pair it with this very cute pastel Jillian. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we have Apple Sour, which match made in heaven with Irene. Mm -hmm. Or even with like Monica and that little Ooh, bit of like yes. kind of bring out the green that's in this turquoise mix. Absolutely. Be so cute. Which this one could fit right in that family mm -hmm. too. So cute. And then Bon Bon. This so cute with Linda. So good. It with has Linda. that periwinkle feel. Mm -hmm. It's just absolute perfection. Ooh, but even like that together. Uh, that would be so fun paired together. That is so cute. You could put this over Fizzy Peaches and pair that as a full manicure. Mm -hmm. That is so cute. That'd be very fun. That's a very summery manicure. Yep. Then we have the Dolly Mix, which that one is going to go with Jillian really well, but you could also pair it with Linda because of that pink hue to it. This one's Dolly Mix. Oh, is this Dolly Mix and this yeah. is Strawberry Lace Adam backwards? Yeah. Strawberry Lace could go with Jillian <laughs> or Linda. And then, of course, Dolly Mix, you could go Linda with that mm -hmm. periwinkle feel. Mm -hmm. You could put it with Pamela for that hit of orangey you can put it with jillian this has some purple iridescent in it so that would be so cute mm -hmm. so it's fun to pair these pastels with all of the pastel products that magpie has released and really quickly let me grab the mm, bottom, bottom row where are they bottom row the next to you yeah thank you yeah. Oh, so cool. when we bring out these beauties yeah yes then we take it to a whole nother level when you pair it with these super cute colors. So yeah. fun. Ooh, like stitch. Oh, is like Elmo. the same. That was like tone on tone. Elmo, I love that. look at that. Cute. I love it. Yes, you could, oh, Sherbet Pip with this yellow and green, or this blue and green situation. Mm -hmm. Randall with a uh, bonbon. Bon. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Or is this Dolly Mix? That's no, I'm getting bonbon. Bon. This is oh that's bonbon. Bon. This that's is bonbon. Bon. We're Dolly brand mix. new to these too. It's okay. So cute though. Yep. So all of these different options for all of these adorable spring colors. Okay, but we are gonna clear the decks because, like I said, we're going to show you how to ombre using these fantastic new colors. Mm -hmm. So what colors are you gonna choose? I don't know. I don't know. What why. colors did Allie want us to compare? Um, the, the blue, blue and, the and the purple. We'll show all three. So this is Iced Gem, oh, thank you. and this is Bon Bon, and this is Dolly Mix. So mm -hmm. there you go, mm -hmm. all three together. And 
we rarely ever have any curing issues, but the light went off after about two seconds. And you can see that sometimes that causes a little rippling in the product. What you would do to cover that up, let me tell you in real life situations, it is fully cured because we gave it a full cure. However, if your client doesn't lock it for long enough, right under the correct light, then that happens. But this is what you would do. Take your bonbon and you're going to just apply a very, very thin layer because we did a one coat coverage. We already have the thickness here where we applied it slightly thicker than our general application, but we're just going to let that self level over the back. Now we don't have it super thick, but we're gonna just let it finish self leveling at the back there. And then now we can just move on with our service. We don't have to file it. We don't have to remove it. We don't have to do anything. You would give this a full cure and then your manicure could continue as normal. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. I am going to ombre apple sour and sherbet pip. Mm -hmm. Super, super, super cute. Those are gonna be so cute together. And when you are working with ombres, remember that your first layer is not going to look nice. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's going to be a little messy, a little messy, a little ugly. It's the second layer that things come together. are just so good together. These two are going to ombre like a dream. And then usually I would have a little towel where I could wipe off that yellow pigment. That way I'm not putting the yellow pigment back into my green. Now what happens if you have your green too far over into the yellow? You would just pick back up your yellow wand and I'm using very light feathering strokes because I want to deposit enough color left behind. Also, what happens if you make a mess at the cuticle area, you would take your cleanup brush and before your client goes into the lamp, you just remove all of the product that shouldn't be wherever it shouldn't be. Just like that. And then nice. in the lamp it goes. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna ombre Jelly Baby and Fizzy Peaches because these two are just so pretty. So pretty. Wow. So pretty and mm -hmm. so cute. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with the lightest color first, which is gonna be Fizzy Peaches. Now, why did you choose to start with the lightest? Um, Cause if you, it's just easier when you do the lightest color first and then you're going in with your ombre, like you're starting your ombre with your darker color. Mm -hmm. It's easier to get a lighter color out of your brush than it is to get a darker color. Got it. And they're not necessarily like, it's not necessarily dark. It's just, mm -hmm. oh, I feel like it would be just easier to clean that up. That's so cute. Right? I really, really like these colors together. such an easy ombre and you go please like right but like it's not perfect but the second nope. coat will be second coat so makes nice. all the difference all right back in with sherbet pip which is the yellow and then in with apple sour so nice so nice so even and so easy mm -hmm. and then the last thing to remember is that top coat matte top coat is going to enhance all of the lines that you can see in your ombre but a shiny top coat is going to diffuse all of those lines so really if your ombre was spot on 
and you didn't have any issues with your coloring, then you could use a matte top coat on there and it would be fantastic. But if your coloring was a little bit like this guy, where you could see, I hope that you can see the actual lines. You can see oh, the lines no. of this color. Then don't put matte on top of that. Instead, do shiny, and then guess what? It all diffuses. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yes. All right. Oh, I just got it right on the lid. Right where it shouldn't be. Um, I did not try a horizontal ombre, but I think that these ones are going to ombre very, very easily. And just using the Magpie Ombre brush, then you would be able to swipe across that line. And it's going to ombre those colors really nicely horizontally. Mm -hmm. So cute, I love Just that. Nice and simple. And now summery. I, and very summery. Now I am going to show you using matte top coat what this is going to end up looking like. So before we use matte top coat, I got a little bit of Magpie Prep and Dehydrate and I'm just going to give this one wipe down so that we remove the bulk of the inhibition layer. The reason why you don't want to have inhibition layer when you use a velvet top coat is that the, your tacky layer that was on the gel is going to mix in with your velvet top and eventually you're going to get streaking in your velvet top and you're going to wonder what it is. And that is just that um, shiny layer of gel that has settled at the bottom of your bottle. And that's just what happens. Mm -hmm. You're mixing the gels together. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to put this in <coughs> for a couple seconds. I don't even have to give it a full cure because this swatch is not going to be saved. But that way you can see that... Oh yeah, that's actually really cute. But you can <laughs> you can see the lines more in this mm -hmm. than you can in this. That's true. Just because this doesn't diffuse light and this does. Interesting. Here's this for you. Thank you. Too cute, too cute. Oh, that's very cute. Love this brand new collection. I want to wear that. I think you should. We should put that on you. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. We'll bring back in all the colors. You can see them one more time. All right, we have Fizzy Peaches, Sherbet Pip, Apple Sour, Iced Gem, Bon Bon, Dolly Mix, Strawberry Lace, and Jelly Baby. Such a great collection. Again, they are available individually or as a collection at MagpieBeautyUSA.com or on the Magpie USA app. And they are here and shipping. So if you are ready to order them, hop to it. Yep. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and we will see you on Monday. Bye. Bye.